What is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate Landucci. I have to remember to say that now in videos because we're on like video 16 now. People might not know who I am, so this is me. Welcome. Today we are doing a roundup of my favorite small beauty products of 2020. The reason I wanted to do a video that just focused on small beauty or smaller brands it's for a couple of reasons. This year, and I can't believe it's the end of 2020. Actually, I can believe it because thank God it's almost over. We've made it through the worst year of history. So congrats to you. This has been such an interesting and insane year for pretty much everybody that I know. And I think it's really important to highlight brands that are a little bit smaller because it's really difficult to start a brand to begin with or start, start a small business to begin with. And then you know how love they can get, you know, Amazon and all these whatever companies don't need our money. <laughs> we can give a little more love to people who probably could use it right now. And as a daughter of parents who own a small business, I know all too well how difficult and crazy and it's a wild ride to own a small business. So I am showing love to small brands. And honestly, these are just my favorite products of the year. <laughs> um, I just tend to gravitate towards these brands, but I'm not like just picking them because they're small. I'm picking them because they are my favorite products. These are products that I use literally every day or almost every day. I'm wearing most of them on my face today and I'll point out when, when we go through it, which ones I'm using. But um, yeah, let's get started and I hope you enjoy and get a little inspired to shop small this holiday season. The first product we're gonna talk about is my favorite product of all time ever made. I use it every single day. I've used it in pretty much every video that I've done so far here on YouTube. And it is the RMS Uncover Up. It is my absolute favorite concealer. And it's not just a concealer. It is a multi-use product. You can use it as foundation. You can cover ble blemishes with it. You can use it under your eyes. It's so creamy. It looks like skin. It's just, the most beautiful concealer you'll ever purchase. I have a little notes here, so let me give you the retail price. It retails for $36. And another thing I love about this product without harping on it too much, because I've talked so much about this in so many other videos, the packaging is what I love about this as well. It's glass, so this can be recycled, fully recycled. You can use this up to the last drop you have and you can either recycle it or reuse this. A great thing you can reuse this for is put like Vaseline or chapstick or something in these little pots to go and stick them in your bag. There's just so many things you can do with little products like this, especially for travel when they go into their next life and you're done with the product. So I love this product so much. RMS, Rosemary Swift. I love you. My next product is my favorite blush, not just of 2020, of a couple of years now, and that is the Jillian Dempsey Cheek Tint. And this is in the color Sunny. And it, you can tell I use it almost every day. It's so fantastic. This is such a beautiful little product. It's tiny, it's compact, it's got a little mirror in it. I love the packaging. Um, the color Sunny specifically is so beautiful all year round. Um, in the summertime, it leans on my skin more like that beautiful sunburnt color. And in the winter, it just looks super healthy and it's a very hydrating formula and it almost plumps your skin but it doesn't fade away like a lot of cream blushes do, how they kind of fade away and off your skin. You know, when you're five, five hours into wearing your makeup, it lasts. And I really love this product for that reason. And Jillian Dempsey is also Patrick Dempsey's wife. So that's a cool fact. She's a fantastic makeup artist and I've got a lot of respect for her and just in general in life, but she makes some killer products. So I love this. And look how cute with the tiny mirror in here. Like, I can't really show you because it'll reflect, but it's got a little tiny mirror. It's just, it's just so cute and perfect. I love it. Oh, and it retails for $28. Next, we have bronzer. And this was my, this is a new product to me, but I haven't stopped using it. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. And you can see how glowy I'm looking. And that is thanks to this product. It is the Tower 28 Bronzino. 
It is so insanely beautiful. This is in the color West Coast. The color Best Coast that they also have is a darker color for deeper skin tones. This is such an insanely beautiful bronzer. It's so unique and I have never used a bronzer like this before in my life. I've used Shimmery Bronzer's cream and powder, but there's something about this that just is next level to me. It looks like you were on vacation. It has sustainably sourced mica in it. The shimmer that you've seen here is mica is a very like controversial um, ingredient and it can be kind of harvested from really in really nasty environments. So this is sustainably sourced mica and that's why I also love it. Tyro 28 was formulated or created for sensitive skin. All their products for sensitive skin safe and they're just stunning. And this was my favorite product of 2020. Favorite bronzer 2020. I bought it at the Sephora sale uh, recently and I've been using it pretty much every day since. It retails for $20, so it's not crazy expensive. Tower 28's products are not prestige level, but they are prestige quality, and I am totally, totally obsessed with it. I love you. Thank you for giving me JLo skin this year. My favorite highlight of 2020, and this is not just 2020, like the cheek tint, Jillian and Dempsey cheek tint, but of pretty much the past five years, I would say, and it's the RMS Living Luminizers. This is the original living luminizer and this is the peach luminizer you can see how much love i give this one it makes your skin look so healthy and so naturally dewy and glossy it doesn't give you that fake shimmery highlight that you can see from outer space i love that look too sometimes more for going out but this Something about this formula gives you that dewy, healthy, juicy looking skin. This was, when it first came out, was like the first of its kind. It, this has been around for a long time. Even before it was popular to like have a really pop and highlight, this was on the market. Rosemary Swift is ahead of her game, especially in clean beauty and sustainability. These are glass containers. I have a lot of respect for that and I love this this product and this brand in general for the sustainability factors of it um rosemary swift is a makeup artist who started this brand many years ago and she's ahead of her game and she makes just stunning stunning products i don't have it on today because that tower 28 bronzer has enough highlight in it for you know you don't need extra highlight but these are so stunning. Uh, let me give you the retail price. They retail for $38, but they last forever. This Living Luminizer one here, I've had this for so long, I can't even tell you because a little bit goes so far. You don't need hardly any of this to give you that really juicy, beautiful glow, glow to your skin. It's just a stunning product. And like I said, it's the first of its kind. It's been around on the market for a very long time. They've got quite a few colors. I just have the peach and the regular, but they've got a gold one, a champagne one. Any skin tone can kind of find a color for this, so it is pretty inclusive in that in that regard. I love this product. It's topped every highlight I've ever tried to this date. My favorite small beauty mascara of 2020, which I don't even have, I just ran out because it dried up on me, but it is the Ilia Beauty Limitless Lash Mascara, and it is Honestly, for a clean mascara, it is insane. It almost beats like my favorite drugstore mascaras because if you've been on my channel and you know I love drugstore mascara, they've been killing it for a long time, but this mascara for, let me check the price, it is I think $28. dollars $28 retail. It's pretty insane and pretty worth the price. It's got lash serum in it. It doesn't flake, it doesn't smudge, but when you wanna take it off at the end of the day, it comes off super easily. It's not a fussy product. It gives you length, it gives you volume, it gives you curl, it gives you everything you want in a mascara. It is worth the hype. I'm pretty sure it's an Allure. It's a best of beauty Allure pick of 2020. Worth the hype. Seriously an insane mascara. And Ilya, I love a lot of their products, but this is the standout to me because formulating a clean mascara which i like some clean products i like i don't i don't go full on into that marketing hole with the clean beauty stuff but for a mascara that has minimal ingredients we'll say 
it's pretty insane. Bow down to Ilya, they did it with that mascara and it's fantastic. So I'll have to go buy a new one when I get a chance to go to Sephora. So another product that I don't have, but it is my favorite eyeshadow of 2020 from Small Beauty, and that is the Kosas 10 Second Eyeshadow. And I have the color Globe, but I left it at my mom's house, so I hope she's using it because I don't have it with me here. It is such an amazing eyeshadow. It's a liquid formula, you shake it up. It's um a dual, like a dual, What's the term? Dual. It's an eyeshadow that's a pigment suspended in either water or oil, I'm not sure. But what you do is you shake it up and the pigment mixes with the other ingredients and it's like painting on your eye. It's like, it's like they describe it as watercolor for your eye. It is so beautiful. The color globe is like a very beautiful golden champagne color. These are one and done eyeshadows, meaning you just use one color, boom, and you're out the door. It's so easy. The formula is so beautiful and so easy to work with. They retail for $28, I believe. Let me see. Yep, $28. And they also do not crease. I love cream eyeshadows, but some of them, if you don't use an eye primer or an eyeshadow primer, they do crease up on you. And I've got quite oily eyelids, plus I put face oil on, so my skin is, you know, we got the do going on. You don't want your eyeshadow slipping inside and around, but these lock in place. They are so beautiful. They've got really cool colors, wearable, some fun, some editorial styles. I urge you to check these out. These are just such a beautiful invention from this brand. And Kosas was started by Sheena Yatanis, who I'm pretty sure was a cosmetic chemist before she started Kosas. I have such a girl crush on her. She's got an amazing vision for cosmetics, also packaging, and just the types of products she launches are very innovative. I love her packaging, and I just think it's a fantastic brand, and they're doing very well. My favorite lipstick of 2020 is the color I used in my last video, so if you haven't watched it, check it out. It's my dark lip, how to dark lip. And here, I'll put it up here somewhere. It'll pop up, <laughs> but it is also from Kosas, and this is their weightless lip color, and this is the color Dark Room, and it's got this amazing, um, the packaging, first of all, like I said, with Sheena Yatana, she does this amazing packaging, but it's got the magnetic closure. It's very sleek. This color specifically is like a deep wine berry color. It is so stunning on so many skin tones, but also undertones. They also make lots of different colors. I know rose water is a, like a very um, muted, mauve pink that's nice for every day if you've got a similar lip color to mine. I've tried it, I love it. Um, this one is just such a stunning color, especially for this time of year. Love this lipstick. It is a true satin, classic, comfortable lipstick. No matte, no flat. We don't do that here on this channel. We keep it dewy and glossy. Best lipstick of 2020 for small brands. The last and final product of this roundup for my favorite 2020 small beauty brands is similar to my RMS concealer. This is what I wear every day on my lips and it is the Jane Iredell. You can see it's short because I use it every day. Jane Iredell lip pencil in the color Spice. Now this lip pencil is like a perfect my lips but better color and I have it on right now just a little bit of Vaseline and you can tell it just gives my lip color some shape, some definition, and I love this because, first of all, Jane Iredell is another pioneer in the more clean beauty category, similar to Rosemary Swift. Been around for a long time. Mad respect for this brand, mad respect for her. Does amazing products, but this in particular I love. It's a fantastic color. It's a wood pencil, like a classic wood lip pencil, which I love because that means there's no waste, there's no extra packaging. Once you use this baby down, it's gone. There's no excess. There's nothing to recycle or throw away or anything. It's just the product itself. I love that. I love a classic wood pencil. This color is fantastic, like I said, and it's really easy to put on. It's uh, it's shockingly creamy for being a wood pencil because those can be a little bit more dry and I've got dry skin, so I tend to gear towards more of the glide on um, pencils, but this is such a fantastic one. It doesn't feather. It's just beautiful and it's such a gorgeous color. So we've got a similar skin tone or lip color to mine, you will seriously love this and I have a lot of respect for Jane Eardale herself and the pioneer that she is. The retail price of this is $17. Really good. Not prestige but performs prestige levels. Love it. That's basically my face right here in 2020. What goes on my face? This is kind of it. Um, 
Love these, love these products. So give these brands some love. They could all use it right now. There you have it, my favorite products of 2020 from my favorite small beauty brands. And this is not to say that there isn't so many other amazing brands out there that are small and just have really fantastic formulas and packaging and do do right ethically and sustainably. And there's just so many amazing brands out there. So I urge you to go off the beaten path, go, go away from those big brands for a little bit and explore a smaller, more indie brand and you'll find some really amazing products. You won't be disappointed because they really, being a smaller brand, I can guess that their blood, sweat and tears go into what these products are. It's really difficult to even start a brand to begin with, let alone formulate and package and the whole thing. Give them some love this holiday season or always. And I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.